Hollywood portrays Los Angeles with palm tree lined streets, glitz and glamour, celebrities at every corner, and everyday sunshine. Those who arrive with stars in their eyes often leave disappointed after experiencing the underwhelming tourist traps. In this video, I want to show you travel hacks that will allow you to find the LA charm you're probably looking for to get the ultimate Hollywood experience. Oh wow, free parking. Happy Veterans Day. All right, I am in downtown Los Angeles, and as a local now, I don't come here much. A lot of tourists might stay in downtown Los Angeles where they feel it's that part of the city, the urban skyline, all that kind of stuff. I just don't think this is what LA does best. Okay, this is Pershing Square. I thought there was like a lot of activities and this was the city center. It's completely empty. I don't know, I just don't feel like downtown LA is super trendy like you'll get in Chicago or New York. It can also be a bit sketchy if you stay or end up in the wrong area like Skid Row. Crime is generally higher in downtown LA and again, maybe this is just personal preference, I just don't think it's a good representation of the LA charm you're probably looking for. Yeah, there is no way. LA, don't try to be something that you're not. Admittedly, it is really cool though to see people walking around the streets. That's not something I see much here in Los Angeles. And what is my recommended alternative? As an alternative, come to West Hollywood to get that LA vibe you're probably looking for, which still has that really trendy urban feel. It's cleaner, safer, and very LA. Santa Monica Boulevard is home to bars and restaurants you might recognize if you are a Bravo fan like Sir and Tom Tom, where I got a photo op with Lisa Vanderpump herself. This is the iconic back alleyway where all the fights happen to the Vanderpump rules. Across from Tom Tom, you got authentic Mexican food with Sados. Oh my God, and a salt and straw. They have really weird flavors everywhere from pear and blue cheese to honey lavender, my favorite. Melrose Ave has great and trendy shopping and dining and some of the best bars like EP and LP which offers awesome views of the Hollywood Hills. All right, and instead of iced coffee, I got kombucha on top. I feel so LA right now and drinking kombucha vlogging on Melrose. Oh God. Hollywood and Highland is maybe the most popular spot for tourists to flock to, as it's where you'll find the Walk of Fame, the TCL Chinese Theater, and the Hollywood Roosevelt. I totally get why, as a first time visitor, you'd want to experience Hollywood Boulevard, because you'll feel closer to fame than ever before. But this is an illusion. Not only will you never actually probably run into a celebrity here, but there will be a lot of vendors on the street who try to capitalize on your desires by selling you gimmicky things like movie star house tours. See, what even is this? $10? Now, let me be clear. You are very likely on this tour to visit houses that celebrities don't even live in anymore. So really, it's a scam. Even got a new segment being filmed here. You'd think on TV when they have these big protests that it's very natural and organic, but she has been directing them for like 15 minutes now on where to stand and what to do. Hollywood Boulevard. Studio. Oh my God, what? <laughs> no way, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. You guys want to be in my video right now? <laughs> this is crazy. I just met um, a nice family here that saw my video. Which one did you see, the LA travel video? Yeah, LA travel video. LA travel video, and I met them right here. That's awesome. Well, I hope you have a great day, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right guys, I take it back. You could see someone you know here in Hollywood Boulevard that you see from the screen. It could be me. <laughs> that just made my day. Wow. Thanks for watching my YouTube videos. Subscribe if you haven't. Instead, if you really want the best opportunity to see a celebrity, come walk by Craig's on Melrose. This restaurant is the biggest celebrity hotspot in Los Angeles. It's closed right now, but in the evening, there are always paparazzi here. 
Instead of a gimmicky celebrity home tour, also go to the Hollywood Forever Cemetery to view the tombstones and memorials of former stars such as Judy Garland and Johnny Ramone. Another landmark that tourists love to flock to is the Venice Beach Boardwalk. This is where you'll find street performers, the smell of marijuana everywhere you walk, and overwhelming crowds. While it certainly can be a good place to stimulate your senses, and I'm not saying don't come here, again, it's not a great portrayal of the charm of Los Angeles. So don't spend all day here. This is so tacky. I hope it's a joke. Don't let the Venice Boardwalk persuade you to get a picture of yourself as your phone case, please. Instead, walk south towards the Venice Pier and turn on 25th Ave to find the unique Venice Canals that will make you feel like you're walking in an LA version of Italy. It's a cute little secret pathway to the Venice Canals. You get to admire all the nice homes in the canal, and it makes for a much better photo op than the Venice Boardwalk. There's a guy recording a TikTok over there, shaving. I don't know what he's doing, but welcome to Los Angeles. So photo op or TikTok, the Venice Canal is perfect. Speaking of Venice, Venice Beach is the most popular place to rent a bike or a skateboard and stroll along the bike path. And while this can be a really nice ride, something to note is that this is a huge tourist trap. It is very overcrowded. You usually got the noise going on at the Venice Beach boardwalk. There is a large homeless population here in Venice Beach, so something to look out for. It's usually always very crowded, kind of dirty. It definitely is still really beautiful. I don't really come to this bike path, but I'm having a good time. And again, I'm not saying don't do this because I think it's a really cool LA experience, but there is a better alternative or something to do in addition to, to really get that vibe. For a more relaxed and pristine version of the Venice bike path, come south to the cities of El Segundo, Manhattan Beach, and Hermosa Beach. This bike path called The Strand is technically the same one as the one in Venice, but offers some things more, like cleaner beaches, less tourists, and the real Southern California charm. It is definitely a more laid back vibe than Venice. I just feel more at peace when there's not vendors everywhere and loud music being played and the Santa Monica Pier. Now I get it. It makes for a great photo op in front of the Route 66 sign and just might be something you want to cross off your LA bucket list. But for real, this has to be my least favorite pier in all of California, or at least all the ones I've been to. It lacks an authentic California vibe because it's quite literally an amusement park. I just met a fellow YouTuber here. What's your name? Anna King. Anna King? Where are you from? Chicago. Oh, nice. I'm from New York. Oh, New York. Yeah. So you do YouTube in New York? Uh, here, but oh, I go. Yeah. I guess I go back and forth. Oh. <laughs> What's your YouTube channel? Miss King Design Studio. Nice. Artwork, right? Artwork. Awesome. What do you do? Um, travel vlog. Oh, so you do travel vlog. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you have to keep looking at it. <laughs> exactly. Don't give up because give up. I actually, I was on Hollywood Boulevard and someone came up to me and were like, I know you from YouTube. Oh, <laughs> and I was so like, cool. oh, that's cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe you can meet David Dobrik one day. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll meet David Dobrik one day. Well, uh, maybe one day you'll remember me. Look at that. <laughs> What's your name again? Anna King. Anna King. Well, thanks for saying hi. This hi. is awesome. <laughs> and have fun in LA. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I may be talking smack about the Santa Monica Pier, but I'm glad I came here and got to meet someone new. If you see me here in LA or anywhere, come say hi. I would trade this for the Manhattan Beach Pier any day, which offers amazing views of the coastline.
If you're lucky, you might even see dolphins here, and I'm sure they know better than to visit the Santa Monica Pier. This is also my absolute favorite place to catch a good California sunset. There is always something going on at this pier, like a college beach volleyball tournament. There is even an aquarium at the end of the pier. Who needs a Ferris wheel? You also got downtown Manhattan Beach on the same street as the pier. Perfect place to eat and drink with great views. Okay, so these are some of my favorite alternatives to some of the tourist traps to really give you an LA vibe. If you like this video, hit that like button so the algorithm can put my videos in front of new users. And hit that subscribe button. I hope you have a beautiful sunny day.